Look at the sun, Amir. Isn't it beautiful? Mashallah, it is wonderful. So, are you ready for today's story? Yes, I am. That's wonderful. Inshallah, I will tell you the remaining story of Prophet Isa, alayhi salam. Now listen carefully. Bismillah. The story of Prophet Isa, alayhi salam, and his miracles. Prophet Isa, alayhi salam, studied the Torah earnestly. He was a pious worshipper of Allah and followed the rules of Torah strictly. One day on the day of the Sabbath, Prophet Isa salam, was on his way to the temple. Prophet Musa salam, had commanded that one should dedicate Saturday for worshipping Allah. However, the wisdom behind the Sabbath had long gone by now. The priests now made a hundred things unlawful as they wished. Imagine this, it was considered against the law if a doctor was called to save a dying patient. It was a sin to eat, drink or even plate the hairs. But the Prophet didn't care for their laws. He plucked a fruit to feed a hungry child. When the priests saw this, they frowned in anger. He made a fire for the old woman to keep themselves warm from freezing air. This was considered to be a violation of the Sabbath law. When the Prophet finally arrived at the temple, he was surprised to find more than 20,000 priests inside the temple. All of them earned a living from the temple alone. Prophet Isa salam, was surprised that there were more priests than visitors itself. Yet the temple was full of sheep and doves which were sold to the people to be offered as sacrifices. Every step inside the temple cost the visitor money. The Prophet was sad to find the priests worship nothing but money. The priests were acting as if it was a marketplace. The Prophet saw the poor people who could not afford the price of dove or sheep were driven away like flies. The Prophet was sad, wondering why the priests burned such a huge amount of offerings inside the temple while thousands of poor people were hungry outside. It was on this night that the two noble prophets, Yahya salam, and Zakaria salam, got killed by the ruling authority. That night, the revelation descended upon Isa salam. Allah commanded the prophet to begin his call to the people of Israel. The simple life that the prophet had been living till now was over. The page of worship and struggle was opened in the life of Isa salam. Like an opposing force, Isa salam, denounced the current practices and reinforced the law of Musa salam. The Prophet asked his people to lead a simple life by noble words and deeds. The Prophet tried to make the priests understand that the Ten Commandments have more value than they imagined. For instance, he told them that the Fifth Commandment doesn't not only prohibit physical killing, but all forms of killing, physical, psychological or spiritual. His teachings annoyed the priests, for every word of the Prophet was a threat to their position. Their misdeeds were getting exposed. The priests started to plot against the Prophet. One day, they arrested a woman accused of adultery. They then called Isa salam, to ask his opinion. They were actually planning to embarrass the Prophet in front of the people. According to Mosaic law, a person involved in adultery had to be stoned to death. The priests knew that the Prophet would oppose killing this woman and thereby the Prophet would end up speaking against the Mosaic law. They brought the adulteress in front of Isa salam, and asked him, Doesn't the law stipulate the stoning of the adulteress? 
Yes, the prophet replied. He then looked at the priests and the people standing around. He knew that they were more sinful than this woman who was trying to earn a bread. He realized that if he speaks against the priests, then he would be held in contempt of Mosaic law. He now understood their plan. The prophet then smiled and spoke loudly to the people standing around. Whoever among you is sinless can stone her. The priests were surprised to hear this. The people standing around hesitated. No one present there dared to stone her, for they were all sinners. There was no one eligible, for no mortal can judge sin. Only Allah, the most merciful, can judge. The Prophet had made a new law on adultery that day. As the Prophet left the temple, the woman followed him. The Prophet realized that he was being followed, so he stopped and asked her why she was following him. The woman remained silent and took out a bottle of perfume from her garment. She knelt before the Prophet and washed his feet with the perfume and her own tears. She then dried his feet with her hair. Isa salam, was touched by her action and he asked her to stand up. The Prophet then looked up and prayed, O oh Lord, forgive her sins. Prophet Isa salam, continued to pray to Allah for mercy on his people. He taught his people to show mercy on one another and to believe in Allah. Once he told his followers, I sleep while I have nothing, and I rise while I have nothing, and yet there is no one on earth who wealthier than me. Prophet Isa salam, once walked by a man who was blind, leprous and paralyzed. The Prophet heard him saying, Praise be to Allah who has protected me from the trials which he afflicts majority of men. The Prophet stopped walking and asked him, Tell me which trial do you remain to be afflicted with? You are blind, leprous and paralyzed. But the beggar replied, He protected me from a trial which is the greatest of all trials and that is disbelief. The Prophet was happy with this poor old man. He stepped forward and placed his hand on the poor man's shoulders. It was a miracle. As soon as the Prophet touched the man, his diseases cured and he was able to stand up. Allah even transformed him, that his face now shone with beauty. The old man sought permission from the Prophet to accompany him and he agreed. The old man became a companion of Prophet Isa salam, and started worshipping with him. MashaAllah, that was such a great story. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it, my son. Are you going to ask me questions today? Yes, I am. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Why were the priests angry at Prophet Isa salam, on the days of Sabbath? Hmm. It was because the Prophet fed a hungry child and made fire for an old woman. That's very good, Amir. Now, tell me why was the Prophet sad when he entered the temple? The Prophet saw that there were more number of priests in the temple than the visitors. The temple was like a marketplace where the priests charged money for everything. Anyone who came to the temple without money were not allowed to stay. MashaAllah! That is the correct answer. Very good, Amir. Thank you, Baba. Now, tell me why did the poor woman follow the Prophet? The woman followed the Prophet because he had just saved her. And how did she repay her debt? The woman washed the Prophet's feet with perfume and her own tears. Then she wiped his feet clean with her hair. And what was the next miracle performed by the Prophet? The Prophet healed a leper. MashaAllah! You gave me all the right answers, my son. I will tell you another story tomorrow. Good night, son. Good night, Baba.